YouTube, what is up? This is Ace Rolling. Filming this video like I used to some of my first videos. <laughs> We're just walking out of the house. But here's, I gotta let Cash out real quick. Come on, Cash. But check this out, you guys. Today is a video that's been long time coming. I'm about to reveal to you all the completed and the finished toy shop. That's right. The up makeover for my garage is totally, is well, it's not totally complete. It's never totally going to be complete, but it's actually done. But I'm going to reveal it to you guys. But first, we need to do this. So you guys can appreciate just how much work I put into putting this garage together and making a place for my 1LE to live. I'm going to show you guys the footage of what it used to look like. And it was a complete and total disaster. So hey everybody, good news. I picked up my new car, but, and I'm very happy with my purchase and it's parked right, by, right, in, right behind the camera there. And when I do reveal it, trust me, it's gonna be awesome. You guys are gonna really love it. But in the meantime, we got a bigger problem we gotta deal with right now. Let me show you. Let me take you with me, let me show you. This is my garage, and as you can see, it is a complete and total disaster all the way around. This is a mess, and that right there is my motorcycle. And if when I get to a thousand subscribers, I am going to reveal that to everybody. So please comment and subscribe. I'm going to show you that it's a custom, it's awesome, and you're going to love it. But anyhow, this is where my BMW E39 was parked. And as you can see, it had a cover. She spent most of the time under this cover right here. But I got too much crap. I got too much. I got, I got everything. I got, it's, it's a mess. I got count of one, two, three, four shop vacs. I got two lawnmowers. I got duplicates of everything. I've got one, two barbecue grills. It's just a disaster. And there's no way that I'm gonna be able to park the new vehicle in here without it getting damaged or just no room to do anything, to clean it or to hang out with it or to nothing. So this is my dilemma. What do you guys think? Before I show you guys the new and improved garage, I call it the toy shop. Shout out to my man Demonology. As you can see, I'm rocking his gear right here. I'm rocking his merch. Real cool guy. We met at the Speed Fest here a few weeks ago, maybe probably about a month ago. He was up here, you know, at the uh, Speed Fest. Uh, Stunner Reese Live put on a great event. Rain that day and I get a chance to race, but you guys, I put up a video for that. If you haven't seen that already, Go and watch it because it's really great racing going on in that video right there. Shout out to Demonology. Sure fix great, man. I was trying to get a, a medium. He talked me into a large, and you guys can, can see it fits just great. So without further ado, I'm not going to let you guys wait any longer. I'm going to open up the garage door, and we're going to check out everything I did in this garage to finish it, to make it look like something. Oh, my God. So much work, so much. I, I'm, I'm talking too much. Let's go see. That's right, everybody. Here it is. This is my new garage. I'm so proud of this. I've worked so hard, so many long nights, so many trips to Home Depot to make this happen. Oh man, it makes me feel so good to have a place finally for my car and my motorcycle to live and to hang out. I got a little place, well, let's just look at everything I did. So let me just do a, uh, a panoramic shot and let you guys see everything. You see my car right there, a little bit of shelving right there. But um, what we'll do first is, We'll start off with this refrigerator right here. Now, if you guys go back to the previous videos, this refrigerator right here used to be white. Just like 90% of the refrigerators out there, it was white. What I did was 
I took the refrigerator and I made it black right here. And I painted the door handles in a nice gloss red. And now, I think it looks pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think of the comments. I'm pretty proud of that right there. It's a nice flat black with the gloss. Got all and uh, we'll open it up here. Don't have a whole lot in there. I don't know if you guys know, I don't drink a whole lot of beer. I watch my, watch my weight. I work out pretty much on a regular basis. So I don't do a lot of beer drinking or whatever. Lots of water, lots of healthy stuff in here. Down in the freezer, we normally keep, we gotta go shopping in the freezer down there. But we'll just keep moving along. Of course, this is my bike. This is my M109 right here. It's custom. It's slammed to the ground right now. It's on air rattle suspension. So got the hard chrome exhaust, chrome wheels. Got these right here. That's all, that's all aftermarket. Here's my air gauge right there for the air rattle suspension. Cone intakes, custom seat. I put the decal stripes here on it. Right there. Gear shift indicator with the chrome housing. Uh, mount for the GoPro. Custom mirrors. Custom control handles here with the, with the black. It's got the drill dot holes right there. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but my front end on my bike is lowered. We took the front springs out of here, which this is covered in carbon fiber wrap, you guys, just so you know. Um, we took the springs out. We put shorter springs in here, so it's like um, putting your bike on lowering springs. So that's how that's where my front end sits so close to the um, <coughs> to the to the, to the fan shroud here. It's not really a fan shroud, but I call it, it, it really is a radiator. So um, if you guys go back to my other video, just my previous video that I posted uh, a couple days ago, showing you guys some custom features on the M109. You see on my bike, this is a two piece with the separate chin spoiler and the radiator shroud right there. But on Mark's bike, he got one piece, which is really nice. Chrome wheels, I painted the inside of these um, these rotors right here a flat black. So I did all this paint myself back in the day. Got the brakes right here, Tokyo brakes. Like I said, very similar to uh, Brembo brakes on the bike. I changed this front fender. This is a gangster fender. As you can see, it comes all the way, swoops all the way down here. So this has been changed and painted the master bike custom. All of the lighting on this bike is LED, including these turn signals. Believe it or not, these turn signals are Harley Davidson turn signals, but I made them work. So with these bikes, you know, sometimes, sometimes you can't get everything that you want made specifically for a bike. So you have to get parts from other bikes to make it work on your bike. And that's what I did uh, for this bike in several different places. Turn signals are integrated here, LED turn signals here. Also in the inside here with smoke tail light. Um, this is the control for the for the lighting system for the LEDs because it lights up everything and like the entire bike lights up blue. It's blue and green, so it lights up blue at the top and green on the bottom. I can show you guys that when I start get it get a new battery and get it running. But so that's my bike. I got a whole lot more to show you with this bike. I want you guys to hear it because it sounds so good, unbelievably good. And uh, please wait for that. That's coming. Thank you for being patient. I really appreciate it on that. Now this is a nice little seating area I put here so I can fight the guys over the squad members. Got the table right there, spin that around. Nice little seating area. If you guys can see it, I'll back it up right there so you can see. I put my artwork up here. Just moving along the walls here. I put my artwork up here. As you guys know from my other videos, some of my early videos, I showed you some of my artwork in the background. So I brought some of that art out of the house and into the garage. Now, <clears throat> before, before I bought my 1LE, which is right back here, I was into BMWs heavy. Actually, I have two of them. And I, you know, I really, really like those cars. They ro they drove great. I just kind of got bored with man, and I went, I got into muscle cars. But I still like the MWs. And this on the wall is some of the artwork that was done 
for BMW. And if you guys don't know, BMW has a series of art cars where they commission artists to do cars. I think they did one every, one every year. And this one was commissioned in the year 2000. This was, this was, made, this was done by Jenny Hosa. And if you can't tell, the car says, protect me from what I want. That's an interesting saying because sometimes you think you may want something and you don't get it and time goes by and you realize that you didn't need it. So that's a good saying. Anyhow, so we'll keep moving on a little bit. So I'll be trying not to be jerky with the camera, but here's another art piece by my, one of my favorite artists in the whole world, um, Roy Lichtenstein. He was commissioned to do this 1977 BMW and all of his paintings feature dots, as you can see all these dots on this here. And this is a real race car, you guys, worth tons and tons of money. Somebody out there has this car in storage. What a masterpiece this is right here. So here, here, here's, <clears throat> so moving on, we got the storage cabinets right here. Got the storage cabinets right here now. I really, really needed this. A place to put all of my gear, all of the uh, stuff to take care of all my cars. Got the detailing stuff here, some paint and stuff, that, that detailing stuff here. Got the paint up there, fluid and some lubricants down here. Of course, I got toys, I got tools. So I got tools down here. Okay, we'll close that up. Stainless steel top, and there's another cabinet with more stuff in it. And this right here, this is a cabinet that actually pulls out, as you guys can see down here, it's on wheels. I can pull this out and, and wheel it around the garage if I'm working on the car or something. And it's got drawers here that you just pull out. You pull it right back in. Very cool. Really like that. And I got another major cabinet here at the top. This is where I keep like my stereo right here. Even more tools at the bottom. I think these are parts for the 240. I'm going to be working on the 240 soon, so those are parts for that. The speakers for the sound system at the top up there. And if you guys, I know you didn't miss this. Now this is a budget saving feature. These are actually, and I'll back up and show you guys, those are actually floor tile, those checkered, checker, uh, checkered floor tiles. What I did was I had some really strong adhesive and I sprayed it to the back of these and stuck them on the wall. I think they look pretty cool. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Didn't do the whole wall, just kind of wanted this to be its own garage feature right there. So I didn't really do the whole thing. Uh, then we'll move on here. I got the 55 inch uh, 4K TV right there. That's the antenna at the top for that. I got the LED lighting at the top, which I showed you guys in the other video. We got four, four LED lights right there at the top. We give off really, really good lighting at the top there. And of course, you know, here's my car. We'll just go ahead and show it to you all. If you guys are new to the channel, this is my 2014 Camaro SS 1LE. She's had a few things done to her. Not a whole lot, but the things that I have done to her, I really, really like and I really, really enjoy. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to um, post um, some more videos with my car. And I've realized, you know, when I've done these videos that I really don't show a lot of love to my own car because I'm just humble like that, you know? But I don't know, I gotta get out of that. But I've done some things to this car and I've got some videos coming. Namely, the main one that I want to do is the car's been lowered and it's been lowered on BMR Springs. And I've done it a while ago, but I wanted to, I wanted to spend some time with the car first before I did a review of, of the lowering Springs to let you give you guys a real honest, and truthful opinion on what I really think about it. Was is it good? Is it bad? Um, stay tuned for that video. It's coming. 
I, I can't wait to do that video. I really am looking forward to getting that one out to you guys so I can know what you guys think too. So anyhow, that's my car. Really like this car a lot, really do. All right, so over here, we'll keep moving. I got my air compressor right here. Sometimes I need to put air in the tires or even maybe use my air tools. Keep on going down here. We got my power washer right here so we can do those phone kind of videos. <laughs> and then over here, I got, uh, I got my Stanley charging systems here. Um, of course, this is the air battery. This is the battery for the M109 that's completely and totally dead. If anybody wants to donate the battery, thumbs up, I'll take it. Um, just some extra cleaning supplies down here. This is my cooler that I take to the car shows. So I can, all the squad women's always look at me and say, hey, she got some water. Yep, I got some water, it's right here. Got that for my guys. And so let's talk about a little bit more. Now, let me just tell you all. I did all the work in this garage myself. I got two boys, two sons. They had no interest in helping me do any of this. It was tough. And I'm gonna tell you, when you look at these walls, these were all, these walls were all cinder block, all the way around. I had to not only clean them, which I had to buy the power washer to clean them, I had to prime them first, all the way around. Once I got it primed, I had to paint them all the way around, as you guys can see. Everything I had to paint all of this white. Everything. And that was tough because some days it wasn't that it wasn't that warm out here. It was kind of tough. But I got it all done. Also, if you guys go back to some of the videos, I don't know, I'll just go ahead and tell you, you gotta watch the video, but this was my only this was my only outlet in the entire garage. I had one light in here. It drove me absolutely insane. I cannot tell you how many times I just needed more light in here. And plugging in something, another complete and total disaster. So I had to do all of the electrical in here. So I don't know if you guys noticed, starting here, I ran electrical all the way around. There's another outlet sticking back there, which is before planning on my part, which put it over there. But originally, Originally, this cabinet was supposed to be on this wall, which didn't look quite right. So I ended up putting it on this wall, and that's because that out that's and that outlet kind of got stuck right there. So now it's kind of really unusable at this point. But it's okay because I got another one right here. I got another one right here. I got one right here, one up there, which I thought would I, I would use for the TV when I put that in, but I didn't. It turned out that it the cord fits right there, and then I got another one down here so now i got plenty of outlets to plug in anything i want which is great it's so convenient you guys don't know oh my goodness so let's talk a little bit about the floor but we before we talk about the floor let's talk about these mats now these are right here you guys are not going to believe what this really really is these are barbecue mats. These are mats that fit up under your barbecue pit and absorb the drippings that come from your barbecue grill. I found these on, at, at um, Aldi on sale for $10 a mat. And I had, a, I had a brainstorm idea. I said, well, what if I take the few of them together and my bike can sit on it. So my bike won't have to sit. It'll be a barrier between my bike and the floor you know and they're very very thin and they're made of rubber they're probably made of like some uh recycled tires or something like that so it's rubber on rubber which protects the tires of my bike so i did i bought two and that's two of them right there that the bike is sitting on right there so after i bought the two i was like man this is a really cool idea that turned out great what if I bought enough to put my entire car under. So what I did was I bought enough 
and tape them all together all the way around. I think it's like nine of them. And I tape them all together on the back side and the car sits on top of these mats. I thought there was a genius idea out there. You guys would let me know. So I had some left over and I ended up getting, well, I had some left over. So I ended up taping a few more together and that's where the seating area sits on right there. Those same mats. And I think that turned out really, really good. Just, you know, another way for me to try to save money on putting this entire project together. And I'm gonna do a video um, detailing how much money I spent putting all this together. So you guys stay tuned for that. Now, since we're talking about the floor, the floor needed some major, major surgery. In my other videos, I showed you guys with the camera, massive cracks that were in the floor, holes that were in the floor, just, it was just not good at all. I had to do a lot of work on this floor to even get it ready to have a, a painted surface put on top of it. So I had to get concrete, I had to fill in these cracks, I had to buy a special tool in order to level it out as much as I can, as much as I could, to try to make it look halfway decent. My my goal with this floor was not to make it perfect. It was just only to make it better. And I, and, and I think I've achieved that goal, making it better than what it was before, because it's never going to be perfect unless I get like some cement truck to come up the driveway and just, and, or, and some guys with a bunch of jackhammers tear it up and haul it away and pour a brand new floor. I wasn't going to do that at all. That wasn't even in the car. So what I did was, what I did was try to make it as even as possible. So I feel, like I said, I filled in all the cracks and I even had an area over here. My dog's over there. Right here where I had to just complete over, uh, this area over here where I had to get like six bags of concrete because once I started messing with this floor, um, it was a lot of pieces that actually just came up and I couldn't paint over that surface. I had to totally redo it. So I was in here, it was like 40 degrees outside. Well, not, well, not 40 degrees, maybe about 60 degrees. Just slinging concrete, trying to smooth it out, trying to make it look better. Then I had to wait three weeks, so, well, I waited three weeks for it to dry, so it could cure. Then what I did after I've got, once I was completely satisfied with the floor, I painted it. Now, originally I was gonna go ahead and get like some, that Floyd epoxy two-part mixture. For a long time, I had that in my shopping cart and I was gonna buy that. And turns out that I'm, I was gonna need two kits. So that means two, kit, two kits mean 200 and something dollars. So I'm like, man, this has gotta be a more cost-effective way to do this. So I found actual garage paint. And that's what I painted this floor with. This is a slate gray. It looks nice. It's not perfect, but it looks nice. And I was, you know, I'm very happy with the results this far. And it, it cleans up nice and it's easy to take care of. And quite frankly, that's all I want. So anyhow, I think that's about it, you guys. I've shown you just about everything. I'll do another shot. Let you see everything in here. And then, you know, let me know what you think. I think it turned out good. Let me know if you guys think it turned out good. So, and also I just want to throw this out to all my squad members. Um, here we got SS Inferno, we got 5.0 Stain Game, we got SRT Speed, we got Stunner Reese, we got Catfish Corner, Muscle Cars and more. We got Dave, the Muscle Car Network. Man, if I, look, you guys can come over. You can sit at the table right there. You can park your car right here. We can set up the camera right here. 
And you can talk about your car. Tell me what you like about it. Tell me what you hate about it. And we'll just chop it up and make a video. So if you guys like the garage and you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Make a comment, drop a like on it, do all those things YouTubers ask you to do. I appreciate you tuning in today. I'm Ace and I'm rolling out.